All right. So first of all, status updates. Um, Sam, I don't want to steal your thunder, but uh, I did notice a new Katakoda, you know, tutorial. Do you want to mention that? Yeah. Um, I converted the build pack authors guide to Katakoda, which I think is probably the longest Katakoda tutorial so far. Uh, and I think with that, we have all of our, uh, well, most of our main tutorials converge to Katakoda. I think a few like small ones, like packaging, build, like packaging the build packs and stuff is still remaining. But apart from that, it's uh, mostly done. Um, while converting this, like, I think I also figured out like what tooling we need to create to be able to switch between Hugo and Katakoda so that we don't have to do this manually again and we can keep it up to date. Um, so it's mostly a matter of using the tags that Hugo uses to parse markdown slightly differently and push a Katakoda version of it out. But um, I think the tags that we have because of Hugo already have all the metadata we need for Katakoda and we just need to slightly modify it. Uh, yeah, I think apart from that, uh, I can I can show a demo later if you want of how it looks like to use the build pack authors tutorial. But that's it. Yeah, uh, I think that'd be great use of our time, and then we could also talk about. Uh, maybe I want to dig in a little bit more into some of the options. I know we've talked about in the past about keeping them in sync, but uh, maybe something has changed there and we could talk about it again. Cool, so I'll add that to the agenda. Any other status updates for docs? I know Yael, um, I believe it was this morning. Uh, I don't know, my time's off. Um, the, the detect, what used to be detector phase uh, documentation that was merged in. So thank you for that. that yeah, thank, well. thank you for emerging it. And then last but not least, uh, some seems like some individuals from Bug Bash kind of landed in the docs and want to work through some of the UI feature sets. Um, and so I've assigned it to the individual that requested it. And hopefully there's a positive outcome there as well. All right, last call for status updates. All right, moving on to user research. Yes, I do have an update this week. Um, on Thursday in office hours, uh, Sam Pianado and I will be doing a share out of the findings from the first round of user research that we did um in the winter and it'll be over two sessions so sometime on thursday and sometime on the following thursday and then we hope to as an outcome of that sharing also have some sort of next steps for other things we might like to learn from talking with our users Do you know the format um, in which like the share art is going to occur? Like, is there going to be like a document of sorts or is it just all verbal for the most part? No, so it'll be, um, there'll be a mirror board kind of revisiting some of the, the assumptions that we had before we talked to these people and some of the questions that we wanted to answer kind of reviewing that and then looking at the specific comments that were interesting. Cool, cool. All right, any other questions about uh, user research? Okay, uh, next we've got unlabeled issues. Um, we had one from an RFC that I already cleared away. And it seems like we have a new one for uh, issues when using pack from a container image. Uh, it seems like 
they're having issues connecting to the Docker socket. And if they're on Linux, I would assume this has to do with SE Linux, um, but probably requires a little bit more investigation. Part of me wants to like throw this over to pack repo. So I'll probably do that after this meeting, unless there's any objections. I think this was also asked on Stack Overflow and then they couldn't answer it and then they ended up creating. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, we'll try to get somebody on that. All right. Um, yeah, that brings us out of our standing items into our other topics. So we've got Katakoda demo issues, question mark. Um, I guess just wanted to call out, uh, I think David was trying to pull up Katakoda to demo uh, some of the things, I think it was just the app journey, right? Which should be pretty light. Um, and it was having some issues. Um, I think there were two findings and uh, Sam, I believe you brought it up where we could schedule, like set up a, like, I guess, let them know when we might be doing a demo so that they could like allocate more resources to the demo or to the instance. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Um, but yeah, I think that'll resolve that part of it. Is that more or less the the outcome? The... Yeah, I think what ended up happening was about the same time that uh, David was about to demo. I also shared the link on the like the chat, and I think lots of people ended up like launching it. And I think there's some there's some limit where it just slows down. I, I couldn't find any documentation on it. And this also happened last time Joe tweeted out the link. But it looks like there's some limit on it where like if too many people are on at the same time, it just slows down. Um, so they throttle it basically, most likely. And they have a couple of options. So one, there's like a demo session where you can allocate capacity. And then while you're doing the demo, there's also a presentation mode where it like makes the points bigger and things like that. Um, and I think you can also have like a guided walkthrough. So like if you have, like if you're doing this and you want people attending the presentation to also follow it, I think you can also schedule something like that. So like while you're like teaching some slides or something, they can follow it on Kathakoda or something like that. I don't know how that works. Interesting. Um, okay. Well, I, I think it's good to know what our options are. Um, so hopefully, I know David and I plan on doing a demo tomorrow using Katakoda um, because also the screen sharing functionality was limited to Chrome tabs um, based on, I think, some of the permission issues on Mac. Um, but nonetheless, so hopefully tomorrow it'll go better. Um, do you know if, who can schedule the demo? Is it something that you have uh, to do, I can do? No, anyone who's, at, who's got access to the organization, it should be, all of us should be able to schedule it. So if you go to this link um, and you click schedule new training and demos, you should be able to see um, like, um, like details i think the only issue may be that like if you attach like the billing details to the organization instead of your personal account everyone in the organization can see the billing details so i don't i don't know how you want to like go through that but uh like if anyone with access to the organization can schedule it okay cool cool all right Probably need to take a look into that a little bit more. All right. Uh, last but not least, and definitely related, uh, build pack author guide or tutorial. Do you want to show us what that looks like, Sam? Yeah. There's a little concern that we bumped up the time to 90 minutes. Do you think that's? I mean, it's it. Um, I, 
that's the estimated time. If you actually just run through it, it takes like less than five minutes to do the whole thing. That, that was my acceptance when I went through it. I was like, all right, five minutes, it works. <laughs> But uh, if, if I, I guess someone's trying to follow this, I think there is a lot of content if they plan on like doing this themselves um, and, and not just clicking on the like <laughs> automated things on the site. Um, Also, I'm not sure if like the issues with Kathakoda were just because we were demoing or because like a lot of other cloud native projects also use it. So I, I don't know if it's just what. Armin just ran away from you. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Uh, let me try it with my personal instance. Maybe that doesn't have the limitations. Nope. I have no idea what happened. That's interesting. OK. So they might just be having an outage. Yes. Uh, right. Is it just the author's guide, or the author's have the same issue? Yep, it's everything. I think they're having some sort of outage. Oh, oh their status uh, website or status page has the 404. So even that's broken. <laughs> All right. OK, so it does exist, right? I know I went through it yesterday. And it's pretty, you know, in depth. And maybe we could, uh, yeah. So here's the other thing. Uh, we will, again, hopefully be able to demo it tomorrow. And we are able to record the session, except for I don't know exactly where the recording goes. So uh, we'll have to figure that out. So maybe we could get a copy of it. I think, like, in case Kathakoda is down again tomorrow, maybe what we can do is just record a GIF of our, like, terminal with. Fact yeah. or something, and that put it on. Yeah, because I have, I have no idea what's happening with this. <laughs> yeah, we'll still share it anyway, though. Just let them know. Hey, there might be some issues for the short time, short term. All right, all right. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, we don't get a demo of that. Uh, any other topics? I do want to say just briefly that uh, a lot of the questions that we did get from uh, KubeCon, we were able to respond fairly well and or point to documentation. Uh, so I think that's a really good show of improvement versus the last uh, KubeCon, I think, that we had. We had a, a lot of questions we really couldn't point people to. So good job, everybody. I, I also don't know if it was because it was not the host, but I can't paste links in the Q&A section. And I can only paste them in the, um, the chat. chat, yeah. So, well, yeah, if tomorrow you're going to be there, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll see if uh, we can make you a co-host or whatever, and maybe that'll change. Cool, cool. All right, well, thank you all for being here. All right, and uh, yeah, catch you online.